Welcome to our lecture online. Whenever we have a resistor in a circuit or multiple resistors in a circuit, they actually consume energy. They dissipate heat. In other words, they take electrical energy and convert it to heat. Another way of expressing that is to say that it consumes power. A resistor consumes power. When you, flow, when you have a current that's forced through a resistor, from via a battery or a power supply, as you're pushing electrons through that resistor, you cause some, the resistance will cause the resistor to heat up and dissipate heat. And so therefore, what we need to do here is calculate how much heat is dissipated or how much heat is consumed by one of those resistors. Well, first of all, if we're given the voltage supply, in this case 20 volts, and we're given the resistance of the resistor, we can calculate the current through the resistor using Ohm's law, I is V over R, which is 20 volts divided by 100 ohms, which is 0.2 amps. Now the equation that helps us calculate the power consumed by a resistor is as follows. Power is equal to the current squared times the resistance. Now let's go ahead and try that for this particular example. So in this case we calculated the, the current to be 2 amps or 0.2 amps, so that would be 0.2 amps quantity squared times 100 ohms so that would be equal to 0.04 amps squared times 100 ohms and so this becomes equal to 4 amps squared times ohms now it turns out that amps squared times ohms is equal to watts so this can be written as the power is equal to 4 watts and watts by definition 1 watt is equal to one joule per one second. So in other words, in this particular example, we can say that that resistor will consume or dissipate four watts of power. In other words, four joules per second of heat is generated and dissipated into the environment using that resistor. Where does that energy come from? It comes from the battery or the power supply. So as the power supply pushes current through the circuit, the resistor will then consume part of energy from the battery and dissipate it in the form of heat. And that's how we can calculate how much heat is dissipated. 